Hey, my name is Cameron Wild. If you've been following our journey for a while, you'll know that my wife Victoria and I live full time in our Airstream travel trailer. For the next couple months, we're gonna be doing something a little different though. We're helping Victoria's family remodel a home here in Sedona, Arizona. We're doing as much DIY as possible, so things could get a little interesting. This isn't gonna be so much a how-to series as a watch as learn how to do things and possibly make some mistakes along the way. We're gonna try to put out a video at least once a week showing what we're up to, sharing our experience, what we've learned that week, and any tips for people like us that are looking to tackle their own DIY project. We're kicking things off today by ripping up all the old carpet, all the old tile, getting that out of here in preparation to lay new floors. We also have to do a kitchen remodel and we're gonna paint the whole house, do a few other cosmetic things, um, and that's about it. You just gotta make a line with a utility knife, and then just kind of rip it up. It's the easiest and most fun part of the whole project. It's pretty satisfying. So right now I'm taking off all the doors in the house. It's gonna make it a lot easier to pull the carpet up, put the new floor down, and then also paint the walls. We're gonna be replacing all the hardware, so the easiest thing to do is just pull these hinges off. If we weren't replacing that, the easier thing to do is just use a crowbar or a screwdriver to lift this hinge pin out, and the whole door just comes right off. We also rented a floor scraper, which is gonna help us get up some of the remnants of carpet that we pulled up. There's places where the cushioning underneath had gotten glued down, so we gotta go through and scrape that off the floor. While George continues to pull up carpet, I'm working on taking up all the tack board that was holding the carpet down to the floor. It's gotten a lot faster as I've sort of figured out a process, but it's definitely still a time consuming job. Got two bedrooms down, the rest of the house to go. So in about four hours, we got 1,700 square foot of carpet ripped up. We've got all the tack strips taken out. Not too bad of a job. So we're gonna go grab some lunch, then come back and start working on the kitchen. The granite countertops were already taken out this morning by some pros, and then we're gonna go in, take out all the cabinets, and try to save it so that it can be donated. Just wedged in there. got all the upper cabinets off and while George is working on getting the lower ones out, I'm figuring out how to detach all this plumbing from the sink and the wall so that we can then pull these cabinets off. Last thing that we've to figure out is how to get this cabinet off. There's a couple pipes that penetrate it, go into the wall, and it looks like the only way to do that is to take those pipes apart. All right, the whole kitchen is out other than that one cabinet that was under the kitchen sink. We're gonna leave that for now and we're gonna have a plumber come and cap off those stubs that are coming out of the wall so that we don't get any leaks. It seems like the valves that are on there also don't work anymore. So that's kind of a disaster in the making. We're back for day two and today we're gonna work on getting all this tile up. There's three different areas in the house with tile kitchen, the laundry room, and a little bit in the entryway. So we've got to get all this up because we're putting LVP down throughout the whole house. But before we do any of that, it's going to be a really dusty job. So I'm going to take some plastic and tape over all of the AC diffusers and returns and also tape off the rooms that we're not going to be in just to try to contain the dust a little bit. All right, so this is the tool right here. It's kind of like a jackhammer that you use at an angle instead and just pounds whatever it is you're trying to break up. We've got this chisel attachment right here, and so this chisel is gonna be at an angle to the tile and just go like that at a really high speed with a lot of force. And in theory at least, that should really help us get the tile up faster. kitchen tile. This job has turned out to be way harder than expected. That took us about three hours and we're not even done with this yet. We got all the tile off but there's a lot of the um, like sticky stuff underneath that was holding it to the floor. 
that is actually really hard to get up as well. And we have to get that up without damaging the subfloor. So we're gonna clean all this up and that'll be the next project. Well, I think last night we were too exhausted to remember to film a recap of that day, but we finished the kitchen yesterday, as you saw, and came back this morning to knock out the other two sections. Took us the good part of the morning, but we're all done now. As you can see behind me here, and then we also got the entryway done. So we're gonna come back this afternoon after eating lunch and start pulling up probably about 500 nails that are under the tile and have to come out before we can prepare the floor to lay the LVP. I'm really glad to be done with this. This was a super hard job, way harder than we expected. Um, back breaking work, crazy dusty. Respirator is definitely a must or an N95 mask at a minimum. I managed to get all those nails up. No exaggeration, there were probably four or 500 nails that we just pulled out of that floor. Now we're ready to do the fun part and the last little bit of demolition, we get to take down this half wall that we have. We're gonna mainly just knock down the drywall and then leave the studs standing because we need to keep the plugs and the switches that are there so that when the electrician comes to relocate those, he can identify what they lead to. done for the day and basically done with demo. So three days and we pretty much got everything knocked out that we were trying to, which feels really good. And I'm pretty stoked with how it went. It was a lot of fun and I think we made good progress. The house is looking great and I'm really excited for what's next.